Hey guys, uh, Steven here, Fanatic Perspective. Just a, a horrible, uh, mind-blowing, mind-numbing loss uh, to Texas Tech tonight. Unbelievable. Uh, choke job, meltdown. Uh, players, coaching staff, everyone involved uh, on both sides of the ball, quite frankly. Um, Sam Ellinger, I, I, in the last video we talked about this in terms of decision making and I had touched on it in the red zone but just in two minute drill end of game situation your team in the lead cannot turn the football over Tim Beck third and two let's keep that keep the clock running can't call you know and that goes to Tom Herman whoever made the decision that you're throwing the football there I mean you go back to the Bill Parcells uh, mantra you know you throw the football three things can happen and two of them are bad and in and, and that situation even if it's quarterback run game or, or using the running back as an extra blocker, do that and keep the clock running and we punt and don't give them a short field. You, throwing the interception, you know, that is literally the worst case scenario. Sam Ellinger, I watched you at Wesley, I, 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 and, I'm, and I'm, I still think, even despite all my frustration with how he played down the stretch, that he can be a great quarterback here. Your football IQ has to be better than that, man. You have to be better than that. You can't be rolling to the right and throwing back across your body across the field. You're throwing blind. That's a trap. And, and it's just it's mind boggling. It's mind boggling the wide the, the personnel groupings with the wide receivers and how we rotate them. How the hell is anybody ever supposed to get in the rhythm? The way you guys consistently use Kyle Porter, he's not good. It's just it's not that deep. I mean, I know, I know the young, the other young boy fumbled earlier, but damn it! I mean, who else can you get in there? Whether it's Daniel Young, you ride him out. You guys told Chris Warren he can't play running back anymore. Just the, the, the decisions that get made on this staff, they have to be held accountable. Because if you compare, look, we finished the season now six and six. Yes, we are ball eligible, and, and I'm I'm glad we're going to get those extra practices in and and, and have an opportunity to get some momentum started, but it's the same it's the same script. We were six and six, year one under Charlie Strong. Now here we are, six and six, year one under Tom Herman. With a devastating loss. You led the game. You came out opening drive, boom, 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 touchdown. You led the game from 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 start to finish and and, and then then you have a meltdown. Deshaun Elliott, you're a finalist you probably lost the Thorpe Award tonight, my man. I mean you gotta I mean the not, I mean, he made a few nice plays, but when 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 the money was on the table, you can't fall down as a DB in coverage. Inexcusable. The dropped interceptions. Inexcusable. I mean, you gotta make plays on the ball. I feel like I'm making the cowboy video all over again. You know, and, and yeah, they got a couple tonight, but when 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 Cliff went back, and I don't know what the hell Cliff was doing either, playing around with his quarterbacks, but when he went back. Uh, to Sheminick, you know, that he came in with some juice, and we didn't, we didn't even adjust to that. Um, and I, it's, it's, it's incredibly frustrating um, as a UT fan to to get to to take the steps we took forward last week in Morgantown, West Virginia, and then on Senior Night, um, we let guys down tonight. We let my heart aches for guys like Puna Ford who. I would say save this season, but I mean we didn't do that great anyway. But he he kept us in there in a position group where we had no depth. You know, my heart aches for guys like that. Um, you know, Michael Dixon who who punted his ass off tonight. Um, it, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. This coaching staff, the way the way the way they 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 coached the end of this game, the red zone play calling was atrocious unnecessary foolishness going on with reverses and trick plays. They ran the Gerard Hurd jet sweep 19,000 times. Anybody reading keys will know is flowing to that. It's not It's not deep, uh, uh, Tim Beck. My goodness. And then you have uh, the Big 12 Zebras uh, 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 show up today who just... It, it, when you have officiating that bad, I will say this. When you have officiating that bad, it destroys the whole rhythm of the game. You have no idea what's going on. 
You have no idea what's going on. I mean, I mean, it's just, it's an embarrassment. This game took over four and a half hours almost. I mean, it, it, it was a complete, a complete shit show across from, from in all facets of the game tonight. And, whew, I mean, that that is that is the worst possible way Texas could have ended this regular season. Um, uh, you know, Tom Herman talks about, uh, you know, accountability, alignment, and all these, these, these things that sound good on paper. But that was a Charlie Strong, you know, everybody talk about boneheaded stuff to lose games, lack of football IQ, key mistakes, uh, special teams blunders today. All that was on full display with this football team. All of it. All of it. And the coaches were included. Mismanagement. Guys not getting out of bounds. It, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I don't have anything else to say. We'll, we'll make a video when I calm down and we know who our bowl opponent is and start previewing. But right now, um, we saved Cliff Kingsbury's job tonight. Cliff owes uh, Tom Herman several drinks. He saved Cliff's job because because he was going to get fired if they went five and seven again. So, you know, we just just flat out blew senior night, blew another game, and very very frustrating as a UT fan. Welcome.